Hi, now we want to build a Python program which will automatically send the emails to your friends and family on their birthdays. See, this is a very difficult thing. Generally, we don't remember the birthdays and uh, I don't remember. I don't know about you. There are some people who remember all the birthdays of their friends and family, but I, I can't remember. Now, the problem is when you miss out the birthday, then you will feel guilty later when they wish when they ask ask you to come for the party then you'll feel guilty so for that you can actually write a python program which will send the birthday wishes on their birthdays and uh, it will look like you have sent it it is not coming from an app if they will think that you remember their birthday and you have sent them an email so <clears throat> so how to send an email later we will see how to send an sms also now how to send an email is by using SMTP lib. So in Python there is an inbuilt module called SMTP lib. Using SMTP library we are going to send the uh, emails. And also we need the help and support of one more module called daytime. It is also in Python. So using daytime you can understand date time. You can understand what is the date and what is the time. And you can compare it with the uh, person's birthday, whether it is his birthday or not, and you can send an email. First, let's try to bre break it down into small pieces. First, let's try to see how to send an email from a Python program. So, how do how does this happen? Is mm, in our com computer network uh, mod uh, classes, which are on the YouTube. I have already made a video on SMTP, uh, SMTP protocol. Using SMTP protocol, we can send emails. So uh, now I will tell you sim in simple words how it will happen. So you are going to have an email client, which is basically your Gmail app or something that is called an email client. And now this email client will be sending the emails to SMTP server of your service provider like gmail server smtp server and now the gmail smtp server will receive your email and it will forward it to the smtp server of the recipient's uh, service provider for example yahoo mail now the yahoo mail smtp server will receive the email and it will push it to the uh, client the uh, whatever client they are using it will push it to the email client so basically from email client to the smtp server from there to the other SMTP server, from there to the client. So the entire message, the entire protocol that we are going to use here is SMTP. And for more details, you can watch my SMTP uh, server protocol classes on computer networks. Okay. Now coming to the SMTP servers, you have to remember this if you are trying to send emails. So for Gmail, the SMTP server is smtp.gmail.com. You have to connect to this. Okay. For Hotmail, if you are using Hotmail client, then it is going to be smtp.lib.com. And for Yahoo, it is smtp.mail.yahoo.com. So from your Python program, we have to connect to these SMTP servers in order to send an email. We will show you with an example. So let's go to the program. First, we have to import SMTP link. And then we are going to connect using SMTP. So SMTP is a class in SMTP lib module. So using this SMTP, you can connect to the SMTP server. For example, I'm using Gmail. So I want to connect to the Gmail SMTP server. So you have to write that SMTP Gmail dot com smtp.gmail.com and you have to give a port number of 587 so 587 is a port number which is used to submit uh, emails to the smtp server okay so from your email smtp client if you are going to uh, send an email to the smtp server then you have to use the port number 587 without using uh, 587 you cannot connect so now we have established a connection with the SMTP server. It is simple one line. This is a very small program with a very with, with minimal number of lines. You will be able to send out an email. First, we have established a connection here with the SMTP server, and then we will add some security to it. Okay. 
so start tls so tls means transport layer security so that the email that you are sending is actually encrypted and no one will be able to intercept it and you have to you have to give a username and the password when you are connecting to the server smtp server and that username is we have created uh, a gmail account so a new gmail dummy account so you to create a gmail account and yahoo account so the gmail account is ravindra raula12 at gmail.com a dummy account we have created and the password is we have we have given a password there so this email id and password you have to give it while establishing the connection uh, to log in on to the smtp server and then you have to send the SM email so we have given this password and then connection dot login so we are going to log in using this email id and password username is the email id and the password is the password that we have entered here as a constant now we are sending the email to a yahoo account that also we created a dummy account so that we can show you you to create a dummy account so we are going to give from address from address is our email id and we are going to give two address two address is whom do you want to send it let's send it to a yahoo account santosh_2690@yahoo.com so now we have established a connection with our smtp server and we have logged in and then we are sending an email and we have to say the body also what is the body of it so put some body no now let's put the body body is the message that you want to send msg let's say hello now let's try to run the program and send the email you are going to get some error <coughs> yeah you got some error so this username and password are not accepted so why this username and password are not accepted is generally when you are sending an email from an app this is an app kind of it so when you are sending an email from an app you have to use a different password not the account password for that you have to go to gmail and you have to enable the two way verification so manage your google account in the manage your google account go to security and inside the security there is two way verification you have to turn on that two step verification and you have to again enter your password and then you have to give your phone number so this two way verification is required otherwise you cannot send an email from an app you can send an email from their app gmail app but if you are doing that from a different app then you have to enable the two way verification now two way verification is turned on now you have to go to the security only in security there is app password is there yeah there is app passwords okay in that app passwords 
you have to give a app name so you can give any app name there because our app doesn't have a name let's say birthday wisher now once you create it you are going to get a password this is the app password okay so get the app password copy paste it copy it and then in place of this password you are going to put that password so remove the spaces there and now you run it now the email will be sent now program has exited with code 0 now let's see whether it is in our sent uh, folder in the gmail let's see in the sent folder yeah in the sent folder now you can see that an email is being sent with the body as hello okay now let's go to G yahoo and let's see if yahoo email id has received that email there is nothing in here go to spam and check it yeah in this spam we got it in this spam we got it uh, mark it as uns uns spam Not a spam. Now in the inbox, you can see that whatever you have got it. So one thing that you have to understand here is whenever you are going to send an email without a subject, that is the main uh, cause for flagging the email as a uh, this one spam. So let's try to add a subject and the name, and again send one more message. So here, how can you add the subject? Is you have to write subject. <coughs> subject followed by two new lines. You have to give the subject there. Subject as hello, and then two new line characters you have to give. Then you are going to type the body. Go to the next line. This is the body of the mail. Now, if I send it now, along with the subject and the body, email is going to be sent. So this is actually what happens in the apps whenever you are trying to send emails from app. Internally, this is what going to happen. Okay, it varies from programming language to programming language, but this is what it should happen. Now, open the Yahoo Mail. In the Gmail, go look at the sent. Yeah, you have sent the second email also. Hello is the subject, and this is the body of the mail. It's the body. Now, yeah. So we got this. Hello, this is the body of the mail. Now you understood how to send the emails, right? So once you understood how to send the emails, later we have to uh, make a list of all the friends and family with their birthdays, and then on that particular birthday. our program should automatically send an email okay that is the program that we are going to do now here you have you can see that connection dot close is used just like how we have closed the file here also we are closing the connection if you don't want this to happen you don't want the, to write this again you can use with and uh, as so you can open it open the connection with with and as and then indent everything into it now you don't have to write close okay so this is how you can send the emails and later we will just modify the code so that we will automatically send a birthday wish on the birthdays of your friends and family okay thank you